right, so we are in Madison, Wisconsin at a Target. I am looking for Bronx, hopefully, and maybe even some of the new Thor 11 Thunder figures. Hopefully we find some. I haven't seen any. Let's go. It's always so exciting going to new Targets. You really never know what they're going to have. Because it seems like their inventory varies so wildly from store to store. And I've learned that from state to state, it's even so different as well. And here we are at the NECA section. Okay, look at it. Let's check it out. Let's see what they got. All right, so they got a ton of these Dark Redeemers. I still have not picked one of these up yet. I think that they just need more paint. It's a great looking figure. It just needs a little bit more oomph to the paint. This is a standout. The Fawn. One of NECA's best works. I mean, so intricate. It's like directly from the film. All the details, the leather bag. Just a real standout. They got Sophia from the Golden Girls. Such a great job with the sculpt. The cheese. What a great show. Oh. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That looks just like Keanu. I have not seen the new film. I wonder if they've even seen the original films. I know that George Carlin's in it, which is, he's like my favorite comedian. Check it out, Baron Harkonnen. Whoa. The Sars guard himself. This figure is just really awesome. I love the film. Uh, the film's great. Look at it. Man, this is a heavy box, too. Let me know what you guys thought about the Dune movie, if you're excited for the sequel. Check it out. Starting to see more and more of these Dr. Fates, too. I think it would really suck to have the powers of Dr. Fate, because it's not like you have a choice. You just get you get the abilities and you basically have to do the will of Dr. Fate. It's not such a great trade-off, I don't think. Check it out. Got the Flash. And his comic, more accurate comic depiction. I think it's more like the Mortal Kombat depiction of the Flash, honestly. He's pretty beefy. Yeah, he's really beefy. I think he'd be a little bit slimmer. The facial sculpt's pretty nice. Probably could use a little bit of a dark wash. This is the other NECA section. It looks pretty messed over. Let's see what we can find. Got some Bad Batch characters. Haven't seen the show yet, but I've heard good things. Love the box. Got Homelander. This is uh, it's a pretty old figure at this point. Looking forward to um, checking out that Noir figure whenever it comes out to store. I know it's available on Target's website. This would go great with a flight stand. Check it out. <laughs> Dorothy, we got more Golden Girls. Some Justice League characters. Jason Momoa, and we got Ray. Never remember the actor's last name, but I think he did a great job as Cyborg. And this is an excellent likeness to him for sure. Jason Momoa, not so much. They could have definitely done a better job on the head sculpt, but the paint on the character itself is pretty darn good, I would say. Arise, young Skywalker. Oh, look at this. This is so new, I haven't seen this. Toy Story was a big part of my childhood, and this is like a blast of nostalgia. Look at this. They're not cloth. They're just plastic, but the whole crew is here. You got Slinky there? Look at that. And you got Zerg here too? Pretty plain, not much on the way of paint, but I mean, it's a kid's toy, but look at this. Man. All right, as far as the clearance goes, uh, it's kind of slim pickings. We got this Triple H. These are really nice. The cloth clothing and additional hand accessories. It's really nice. And they went overboard with these Space Jam figures. They really did. I mean, look at all of them. I can literally just keep going. And more. Sleep on this Hazmat Batman, if you guys can find this one. It's a really nice figure. I think so, but I mean, it's pretty common at this point, but it is a nice figure. The paint on that, like the dry brushing, and then the gold on the belt, and then it actually lights up. I think they could have done a better job with the chest insignia because it doesn't really illuminate the entire bat symbol. It just kind of projects just a generic light. So that's really the only gripe I have with the figure. Other than that, it's pretty nice. Everybody's favorite peg warmer. Look at that. Still looking for the Batman Nano rides. I mean, this is the 66 Batman, but so far no luck on the actual um, latest film adaptations, Nano rides. But they're out there. We are in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I've never been here. Headed to the Super Target to see what they have. Let's go. Check it out. That's new. Haven't seen that. And they've got a Falcon too. Right, checking out the McFarlane figures. Got it. Black Adam, nice. Blight, Thomas Wayne, a mess. Titan Joker, got a clay face. Shocker. This. I didn't even see this. Alright, so we have their NECA end cap. Check it out. Hmm, this would go really nicely with my new Halloween 2 cloth Michael Myers. We got a four pack team and T down here. Dirt bag and ground chuck, nice. <laughs> Look at these. Okay, so we have Clarence here. Oh, Clarence. Check it out. More clearance. Same price. Oh, it's a little bit different. 
Got gold bar from clearance. So 13 bucks. Check it out. They are stacked to the gills here. Clearance. These are new. I, haven't, I think it's a show on Netflix, I think. I think so. Amazon Prime, I think. These are new. The Dark Redeemer. Don't sleep on these soul crushers. They're really nice. Super 7s. Check this out. They did a good job with the likeness, too. We got a ton of these Hellraisers. Pinheads, I should say. A ton of those. It's Lori Strode. A ton of Lori Strodes. Again, no Bronx. Check this out. I have not seen this. Lentecular box. Yeah. Yeah, everything else is pretty standard. Nothing too crazy. So all in all, this is a pretty nice target. Um, they have two NECA sections here. And they have a pretty good toy aisle too. Not much in terms of clearance. But uh, everything else is pretty nice. Action. This is new. Check this out. Good detail. Rokosaki and Mamato Yoshi. Tons of these ashes, of course. All Dr. Fate's Dazzler. And Diamond Selects is killing it with these. Check it out. Super Sonic 2 movie. But Jack Specific was real happy to get the license for these. These look new. That is nice. Look at that. I'm gonna give it to Hashbro for these. They definitely knocked it out of the park on these. Yeah, these look way. Look at this. Looks way better than what they're currently doing with Marvel Legends. I'll say that. Megatron's accessories. We still got these from the Transformers movies here. Studio series. Only thing I've seen from Thor: Love and Thunder here. No actual figures. That J. Jonah Damison here too. Mattel is just killing it with these. Look at the likeness on that. I mean, look at that. Actual clothing. Look how it's layered. Man, how much are these? Only 22 bucks. If there's anything you all ever want me to look for specifically while I'm doing these hunts, just let me know in the comments. Um, so that way I have a better idea of what to focus on versus just kind of showing a lot of stuff. Okay. So this is the part of the video where I go over everything that I found while on my trips to Minnesota and Wisconsin and even some of the things I found when I came back. So without further ado, the best find that I found in Minnesota would happen to be this Mezco Ascending Knight Batman. This is my absolute favorite piece that I've found so far and I am absolutely loving him. He photographs so well, poses beautifully. The details in this suit are absolutely amazing. I ordered the other, uh, the rest of the series, so I've got Supreme Knight and I've got Sovereign Knight coming. So I, I caught the Mezco bug, what can I say? Um, this is definitely an impulse buy, but when I saw it, um, this was at a Walmart, I think in, in Wisconsin, but it is the Replica 1989 Batarang. Check it out. It feels great, it's magnetized, and it collapses just like it does in the film. You can't like whip it open like he does in the movie, but this is a great desk piece. It was like $24, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a hard buy, but it looks great. It's got a nice little, not too lightweight to it. Um, I guess you could use it as a letter opener, but yeah, really nice. Uh, comes with, like I said, a little stand. I really like this. And while I was in Minnesota, I happened to come across some really nice clearance sections in the targets. And I found these two three and three quarter scale, I believe these are three and three quarter scale, Dexter figures. Um, I am a fan of the show. I'm sure many of you are as well. Um, but these were just so cute. And I think they were like $6. Um, the the, uh, the Comic-Con version of these is going for an insane amount. And they come with like three additional accessories. Um, these are really nice. These definitely remind me of like Super 7. I found the Retro Cloth Michael Myers. Halloween 2. Couldn't believe he was there. Apparently someone was telling me that he had come out maybe two or three years ago and then I also found a Freddy Krueger which may, you may have seen in the video. That one came out three years ago and it had been collecting dust in that NECA section. So this is definitely a standout. Uh, I cannot wait to pair him up with some uh, photos from my Lori Schrode and Dr. Loomis retro cloth which I have back here. So I'm definitely going to do some stuff for Halloween. I'm really excited about that. I also managed to find the Batman from Future State, the Jace, uh, or Chase, or say Jace Fox. <laughs> um, I really like this one. I can't wait to unbox him. They did an excellent job with the sculpt. Just the face looks so menacing. I mean, he did, I mean, it's just excellent. Um, I have yet to read the storyline. I've got like uh, my 
my cue, my reading cue is huge, but he is excellent. I found him at a Walmart in Wisconsin. And then also I found Dark Detective 2, which I guess they had just recently got a shipment. This is an excellent figure as well. I like the weathering on the cape. I don't know if you can see that. Just the grimacing stare he's got going on here. Um, I do like the storyline. I do know a little bit about the Future State storyline. I like how Batman's basically going back to bare bones uh, without his resources. Some other little small impulse buys. I saw this Hot Wheels premium car, Spider-Man, I guess referencing the original 70s, late 70s Spider-Man uh, TV show. And I was like, I've never seen that. I just had to pick this up. Honestly, this is the only Spider-Man piece that I have in my entire collection. So I also happened to find a Cesar Romero Joker on clearance at a Target for, I think, under $8, 8 or $9. And the only ones I had seen are the boxing Joker and then the Surf Sub Joker. So this is definitely a fun find. But moving right along, uh, shout out to T3 for letting me know this even existed. We have the Diamond Selects VHS Edition Crow figure. This is an absolute amazing piece, and it was $24.99. Diamond Selects, man, when they do their thing, they do their thing. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. Um, when I was at the Target, a guy came, and as soon as I picked mine up, he took all the rest of them. I also happened to come across this. Yes, the Jim Lee-inspired the Batman 12-inch McFarlane statue. <laughs> this one, I couldn't believe I found it. They had, like, six on the shelf, but... I guess in Illinois, I, I hadn't seen any. Some people are saying there's restocks on these, but this is an absolute beast of a piece, and I was so happy to find it. I did not think I would find one of these. But lo and behold, I did. Got the Jim Lee art on there. Um, really nice. I can't wait to put this in a detolf, uh, when I get a detolf, and really get some light on this. This is just going to absolutely shine. I'm so excited about this. What a nice piece. Now, this one I found very recently. I was super excited, and as many of you know, I was looking for this piece for a long time. Um, I just didn't think I would find it. I even ended up putting it on pre-order. Uh, someone sent me a link for the pre-order, but I finally found it. I got my Bronx. Yes. Uh, I can't believe it. He was sitting on a shelf at a Target. I just turned around. He wasn't even in the right section. Someone had grabbed two of them. I guess they were going to walk out with them, but I found them. Uh, beautiful. Now I can finally put these wings on my Goliath. I'm definitely looking forward to doing it. Um, a gargoyles display in the detail. Um, I'm moving, so eventually I'll be able to set all this up. But yeah, absolutely super stoked about this. I thought I was going to have to wait like months and months. But other than that, those are definitely some of the more standout pieces that I found. Um, thank you all for watching the video. Please leave a comment. Please like. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing. I've got a lot more stuff on the way. I'm going to start doing more frequent reviews, uh, more uh, frequent uh, toy hunts as well. Uh, I definitely post those on my uh, Instagram live feed. So if you want to go check those out, if you've got some free time during the day, I'll usually post some stuff there. But other than that, that's everything. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to bring it down.